Steady, boys. Well, Steady. tuck my tail and call me Bessie. A two feet address me directly? Huh. I thought I'd never see the day. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Oh, me and my brother Bola dragged this here cart all around Sicil, from dock to graveyard and back again. Huh. Speaking of Bo, you ought to say hello to him. He's clairvoyant, you know. Can tell you fortune to the T. Okay. I'm seeing a uh, two feet approaching me, and <gasps> there you are. My powers astound even me. Tell me about yourself. I'm Bull, the Bull, the leading clairvoyant in Psy Seal. The two feet never bother to ask, but I see all that is and is to be. Aha, uh -huh. can you tell me my fortune? Of course, most winsome two feet. Of course. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, I'll be wealthy. Why, yes, most wealthy indeed. Uh, but you must be vigilant, two feet, for I see that your wealth will come by bloody means. Will I be lucky in love? Well, that depends, two feet. That depends. I see that love has caused you to falter in the past. Yes, falter dearly. You must reconcile your mistakes before you will find true love. How will I die? Hmm. Death. Ever the most difficult topic to foretell. I see. I see. Oh. Oh dear. No, uh, no, your reading is over, dear, over. That's <coughs> all for today. He saw some that did that. Oh, he must. Uh, okay, so. Uh, okay. That was great. Mm -hmm. Hunter? Okay, he has nothing to say. God, duty's not so bad, hey? Would be quite a bit better if I could do it in peace. Just making conversation, mate. Mate, he says. We are colleagues, nothing more. Come now, it's just a turn of phrase. Will you please turn your Aurea. phrases up? Well, a source hunter. About time the council took us seriously. Maybe you can start with the two idiots hiding their pet orc here. Their pet orc? This old gore. Too bad indeed. Ah, who better than a proven orc crusher? to convince my dumbbell of a friend here that orcs are predators, not pets. Enough of that. I know how dangerous an orc can be, but this one has been reformed. Anyone can see that she's completely docile. But my prejudiced friend here still wants to kill her. How about yourself? Maybe before the great orc raid we had time to indulge Nineish's idiotic obsessions. But now we're needed at our posts. I can hardly believe I've been wasting time protecting an orc when I should be running them through. Oh. Excuse my friend's violent outbursts. He hasn't enjoyed a woman's touch in quite some time now. It makes him a bit edgy. Your woman's touch is less of a loving caress and more of a claw shanked brutally through the throat. I'll take my chances as a bachelor, thanks. Oh, guy's really trying to do a Sean Connery voice. Sean Connery. Anyways, uh, what's this about a charmed orc? My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls, when who did I see creeping along the shore but this lovely orcish lady? For a brief second, as, well, as long as eternity, we locked eyes. Perhaps confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up 
and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head, and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamoured. I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army under some kind of duress. A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. Ha! I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? Ah, a love potion. Tell me more. Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away for the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as promised. Except that they have durations. You see what a fool my friend has been, spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting, as printed. <laughs> you see? He'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. This place reeks of orc stench. We could be cautious and go ahead and put her down right now, or we could let her live, as stated, with a slight risk that she might go wild again. But with the possibility of giving information, however, I'm not sure if she would actually give information. I quick save, so... You're right. The information she provides could well turn the tides here in Sicil. Bravo! I trust not only the potion, but my scaly sweetheart in and of herself. You're going to regret this. We're all going to regret this. Mm. Too bad indeed. One not die, a skeptic Moira. like you One can Well, a source hunter. When this little charm fades, she'll liberate the flesh from our faces. Come now, enough doom and gloom. Oh. Cast your gaze instead upon my fear. How much would we get one if we, uh... One die, you'll shut ah, who Enough of that. Maybe before... Hey, excuse me. Your woman, you she? Agreed. I'm glad to hear I'm not the only... No! She... <laughs> you bastard! You had no right! No right to protect not only you from your own stupidity, but myself and the citizens of Sicil as well. It's you we need protection from. 
Murderer? Fortunately, the wizards of Youthful Gore make a revenge elixir that will show you what's what. Go ahead and throw your sugar water on me if you like. Your foolishness is no longer my problem. Thank you, stranger. If you ever need help, I'll do my best to repay you. Oh, that feels so wrong. That feels so wrong. Well, what is it, Baker? Ah! Enough of that. I know how dangerous an orc. Maybe be uh, excuse. Your woman's touch is my friend here. Perhaps a vial of love. I'm sure. Ha! Ah. I sent away for the world famous love potion. Available for a limited time. You see what a fool What kind of monster would lie? It you see? He'd believe. You're right. Bravo. You're go. We'll leave it at that. Maybe, hey, you know, maybe it'll actually work out. I'm gonna regret this. Lock pick. Forty. Unless somehow I use a level six, attitude ten, attitude ten. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Ooh. identify this but this this oh I was gonna be sending it to the wrong character This will be dangerous, but taking a tumble. Ow. Oh, I have been in here. This is where everything blew up on me. No, not really. Not exactly. Careful now, that's a trap. I feel like I've just had a long 
<laughs> oh boy. That was something, I suppose. Ah. You know, for a Friday, I'm actually pretty tired. I'm actually getting pretty tired. But, I'm not done yet. We ain't done with the day yet. <clears throat> Are you gonna go away? Or do I actually have to try and blast you? Which will not be a good thing. the right tool for mining oh I need a pickaxe okay so I need to find a pickaxe somewhere Alright, so with how devious that one... I should have guessed that was going to happen. I mean, I think I did. I just didn't properly act upon it. So we'll... Look out! I see a trap nearby. Indeed you do. Mighty staff. I feel like I've just had a long bath in a cold lake. Do they have any other words than that? All right, we're back to where we began. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. I, okay, so I don't exactly remember where this will Careful take us. Now. That's a trap. Have laid a trap. Indeed. Okay, this is probably going to hurt. Start with you. I gotta wait for this to... Mm. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gods! What is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat. 
And now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Dialogues that trigger automatically will always address a main hero. Trigger a dialogue with one of your companions. The speaker of the dialogue will address the hero attached to your companion. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the person who actually has charm on. going on here first i have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom get out will you oh this is a curious mix up no it'll be the quite the story to tell tomorrow little mix up indeed No! If, if you please. Flowers thing. Oh my gods! What is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Okay. Okay, and I thought I was well anyways. Oh. That'll explain a lot. going on here first i have to shoo away a creeping white what the hell? Cat. no oh my god why is it going what to see on here First, I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? A magical... Out! No! <clears throat> I got... I gotta figure this one. going on here first i have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom get out will you little mix up trying to figure out what still trying to figure out what's going what maybe this is it oh my God. there we go what is going on here first i have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat little mix up in oh no 
if she you thought please. the flowers think much longer. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have waited to see what a bear daughter would have said. Okay. Oh my God! What is going on here? First, I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Oh, I'm gonna win this, chat. Oh, I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna win this. The oh last thing to do. God. I'm gonna what win is this. Going on here? First, I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Mm. Shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a oh, perfect stranger a in my bathroom. Start. Get out, will you? Great, now we can't lose another one. So we need to win one, two, three, maybe four more. Us instantly losing like that? Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit, that's not good. Uh. She's gotta have, oh, she has charm seven. Oh, no wonder why she. Oh, this paper rocks is just going to be brutal, isn't it, chat? Oh my god, what is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Wow, she went for a paper a lot in that one. Damn, we. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get this, chat. I'm gonna get this. I don't care if I'm my charm is l l lower. Oh my God, what is going on here? First, I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? So, I never imagined my bathroom would be such a hub of community activity. <laughs> oh, do be a dear and show yourself out, won't you? Yeah! First off, you have any... Nope. Um, Using a period... No! 
if she you soaks please. in flower stink this much longer, is dear I private. smell this lady from a field away. I'll save a leg of something good for when she begins to starve. Actually, oh, why don't, don't you join just her? Stand Not there. for any Go. titillating reasons. Away with you! But because you could do with a dab of floral perfume about that quaintly odorous physique of yours. What are you still doing here? Be gone! I will just hold on a second, okay? Out now, if you please. Private. Well, that certainly opens up a lot of uh, doors for us. Interesting devices, these pygmies among pyramids. They may be small of stature, but their potential is gigantic. Deceivingly clever. It is a trait all demonic machinations share. Yes, demonic. So very obvious to the trained eye. These apparatuses have been forged among the voids of the outer realms, where the light of stars does not reach. You'd do well to treat them with the utmost care. Perhaps it would even be for the best if you sling them into the reaches of infinity that surround the shelter plane. Better safe than sorry. It is an uncommonly trite thing to say, but it applies to all things demon dreamt and devised. Uh huh. You're looking a gift horse in the mouth, eyes, and ears, Jan. These pyramids are a wonder, and I'll use them to my advantage as much as possible. Now I pity you. You have a mouth, but do not taste. Eyes, but do not see. Ears, but do not hear. So let me state this clearly, Hunter, that you must always remember, always, that when demons are in play, you are the hunted and that it takes stupendous cunning and strength to escape their snares. The very moment you are certain you have them in your grip, that is the moment their traps spring, and it is their grip that shatters your soul. Dueling with demons is like playing chess against an opponent with queens for pawns. They sit and grin while your pieces slip in the sweaty fear that drops from your beleaguered brow. What a dick. Really do not like this guy. Okay, that's actually cool. Fortune! All right. So back to here. just been sitting here the entire time he's just like hey uh, where'd everybody go why the hell did I not see that what the hell did I grab oh nice Forty-five. Oh, loss of movement.
Oh, it takes five to attack them. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about that. That'll be a sell one. Careful now. That's a trap. Indeed, it is. spotted a trap I forgot a quick save. Ow. Oh, Bubba. Uh. Oh my gods! What is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? With one charm, does that mean? Yep. I don't know why it's not choosing. Hold on. It's not. It's. Uh. 